Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I send you so much love and appreciation. I do really think of you every single day. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, Come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it might be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Another week it could be Law of Attraction Tarot. Coming up later in the month, I'll have a four month predictive reading, which we don't have very often. So those are a lot of fun. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. Okay. So we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the world. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Moon, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Well, you've been through something that's bringing in a beautiful new cycle here. You've got a new beginning showing up. But what I like is you've got, so the Aces and the, the Number cards, the Minor Arcana are called the Pip cards. You have the ace all the way to the ten of cups. You have something new beginning that you are going to absolutely love. You know, you've got that rainbow after a storm. You have Pisces here, air, earth, water, and you do have fire. So all the elements, but you know, when we look at this together, talk about a glorious energy here. You have something really spectacular coming in right now. It's your time is now, Virgo. There's no more waiting. So with the world card, the final major arcana, it really is feeling fabulous. It is a new phase and you've overcome some challenges here clearly, but with this one, you have a time now where this is the final major arcana, right? It's self mastery. It's also on the ascension keys of the tarot. So you're on the upward climb here. You're at the pinnacle of success. You have a new perspective based on what you've been through. In a relationship, things come together. You have a true partnership here. You have a love that knows no bounds. I mean, it really is the real deal. It's a card of when when the soul meets the world, the soul receives all of their achievements, everything they've asked for. Here's where it comes. This is truly a time of nirvana. It's a very important energy. The wreath of victory too serves as a portal into the divine. So when we see that, we want to be meditating. We want to be in that place of receiving messages, taking the messages and doing something. She's a dancer. So she moves, she dances, she takes some action. So don't sit still. We have to get out there and do something to bring this energy forward. Um, but you definitely have a completion in a new cycle. And initiation continues. Now you have the yods of the tarot or yods. Either way is acceptable, okay? I've heard it both ways. These droplets coming off of the Ace of Cups, they also appear in the card of the moon, which you have a few um, cards that have feature these yodes, but they're, they're blessings, okay? So it may start off as bridges of incidents where you, maybe you see, a, you see somebody that fits the description of the kind of person you want to attract, but you notice they have a ring and you go, well, it's not them. And you keep seeing images, you keep seeing these manifestations, acknowledge it. Tell the universe, I, I see that you're trying to interact with me. I see that you have got my order. You've heard my order, only we need one who's available. Not this one, but somebody who's available. Um, but with this, it really is a commitment. If you've already found your one, then this is growing. It's a transparency. You're each other's soulmates. You're a relationship where you truly are partners, a partnership for life. Now, others of you in career or finance, because you've got nice aspects for career and finance, it's really about your career flourishing, being in love with the situation, saying, it's this is it. I've wanted this job. 
I've been asking for this. I've been putting in the time. I've been investing what it takes. Here it is. This is the offer right here. So the Three of Pentacles brings in a very harmonious energy. This can be a card of promotion, okay? So it's definitely financially uh, an up upgrade for some of you. And it's about threes are growth and development, but they are also the expression of the Pentacles. So Pentacles are about money, yes, but they're also about manifesting what you want. This is people who get along. So you're you're attracting people who who work well together. You have a few different times here who are partners who can hear each other's ideas and then build off of those. You build a life together. This is also the card of the architect. If that's your job or it's, you know, architecting a plan or something like that. Um, and it also can be in the really literal sense because you do have a home here, building a house and putting in, you know, the the work or collaboration to build something, build physically build something. And with the, you've got well laid plans there, by the way, um, with the 10 of cups, here's that rainbow after the storm. So any challenges that you've had, this is the time to say, we did it, we made it through. Now you do have the house in the background here. This is the happy family card. So that ace of cups, it's telling you that it evolves into more. There's an evolution here in this happiness journey. It's not ending anytime soon. And so with the tens, they're all about perfection. They're new cycles that are absolutely brilliant. This can be subjective though. So it can be about physical gains. Those of you, again, with a house or something financially that you're building, this is where you get the you get the big purchase. You go, oh my God, I've wanted this. You also see somebody though running out of hall some kind of a party or celebration for somebody. Um, I do feel like you have great energy to move that along. The plans come together. You find the right food, all that kind of stuff. I know there's some lingering supply chain issues, but I do feel like you overcome that. And even if something's not available, you'll be easily rerouted in that energy because you're in alignment. So the moon brings in a new cycle. Again, this is also in the ascending keys. So when we go from the tower through the star, Next comes the moon. And so the moon brings a new cycle. It is about your subconscious. Everything comes from source energy. You see as this um, cr crab or lobster walks out of the water, they're all emerging from source. And so it's a card that brings in balance. It brings in alignment. It's a new cycle that brings in wish fulfillment. Um, but with this too, it really is about being clear about what you want, being very clear and taking the actions to support it. So we don't just sit back, right? The characters are moving, the animal friends. This may be a time too where hidden things are revealed. Information comes forward that is very helpful to you in this. So it may be tips, pointers, things like that, that it may not be some underhanded thing. I feel like in the tarot, when we start talking about information being revealed, we automatically assume it's something dishonest. It's not. It's definitely, in this case, it feels like more information comes out. And I guess the word revealed probably suggests that it's something that was negative. But in any event, it's really more like helpful people along the way give you guidance, and it really is a blessing. So the eights are about movement and vibration. I do feel like with this card, it's more of an indication of where you've been. It's a very restricted energy, and there is a bit of guilt to this. So if you had a time in your life where you stayed in something that you knew you needed to leave because of guilty feelings, this is the energy that it was creating around you. It also, too, feels like there were a lot of people involved. Um, this is back here. We've got the swords in the back or the peanut gallery. These two swords next to you are your two good support systems and the sword up front is the most important and it's the higher wisdom it's your higher self so we want to let go of anything that restricts us with this it's like a bondage of self it's not it's a self-imposed prison too much thinking too much analyzing too much going over what it might do for somebody else what they might do it's so difficult to control other people right our journey is really of our own making anyway so the pages bring in their messengers. This one brings in some good news as far as money and career are concerned. This page is a bit more careful with money. However, it's really being judicious. You use your discernment here so that you're, anything that you're doing that's gonna bring in three of pentacles, 10 of cups energy, 
you're making the right choices so that you're happy in the long run with this. There's nothing frivolous about it. Pages, though, are a new energy, so it brings in a curiosity here. This can be the lifelong student, too. So if it's a new job that you're starting with this new cycle, you are going to get a lot of skills from it. There's going to be more training that's going to feels like a, a catalyst into even more career gains. Might be long term, though, okay? We're not talking about you know, we begin a job, we get some new skills, and then in one month, you're into a different job. It really may be over a period of some time here, but whatever you're doing, go with it. Be easy about it. See it as an opportunity because your perspective really matters with this. He gazes at that pinnacle. I mean, he could be saying, my God, this is heavy. This is such a burden to carry this, but he doesn't, right? Look at his posture. It really is about being in appreciation and being ready for the next opportunity to come along. Well, Nine of Wands, you've got the conquering spirit. You have endured something here, Virgo. That was difficulty. It was a challenge, but you've overcome it. The Nines are about completion. So you've got this goal accomplished, and you're, you're ready for a new beginning here. You've known, too, with this, um, it may have tested your mettle, but you found out who you really are. It reminds me of strength a bit, like you've overcome something, and it's time to go into the place where you can maybe rest on your laurels a little bit, but enjoy and relax the, the dividends of whatever you've been working hard on here. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? You have here, ask your angels. So ask and they will tell you. The universe wants to interact with you. You just have to ask and then be clear. Be ready to receive. Now they give you forgiveness. I feel like it may be a bit of a self-forgiveness in this reading. Um, you really don't have much here in terms of real conflict with other people. Even though you've endured something, it does seem like it was a bit more of a self-imposed issue. Improving health, it's mind, body, spirit. We've got you ready, okay? I'm not surprised to see that one come in. They have reconsider. Now, when we get that, it doesn't mean turn back. When we hit a speed bump, we don't turn the whole car around, right? It just means there may be an opportunity here that you've looked at, and it might be worth a second glance because there's good things coming for you, Virgo. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.